in the past when we've gone out into the field to collect information for use in an iTree eco analysis, we've collected information on a piece of paper or on a PDA or personal digital assistant. One of the latest advances is the smartphone, which, whether it be an Android device or an iPhone or iPad or other tablet device, we can use that in the field to collect our information. So in order to do this, what we need to do is configure our iTree Eco project using the uh, application that we've launched on our Windows computer. We'll use our manual to set up the project in the manner that we want to uh, have it configured to uh, go out into the uh, field, whether it be for a full inventory or sample plots. Once that information is set utilizing the uh, iTree Eco, we have uh, to do a few steps in order to uh, get that configuration brought over to our smartphone, whether it be an Android or an iPad or an iPhone or other tablet. And so in order to do this, what we're going to do is to, uh, in, within our application, we're going to go up to the uh, Tools menu. And within the Tools menu, we're going to be able to uh, pull down and uh, to the menu icon that allows us to uh, work with a uh, smartphone device. We simply go to the Tools menu and we pull down to Mobile Utility. And what that will do is open up a dialog box, which we're going to click OK. And what that's going to do is open up another box, which we're going to select the desired action to perform. In this case, we're going to submit our project configuration to the iTree server. And we're going to uh, just go ahead and click on Next for that. And then what that will do is then bring up the um, configuration that we've uh, configured in iTree Eco. We're going to select all of the variables, and what that will do is send all of that data. When we collect next, uh, it's going to send it over to the iTree servers. What we need to do in order to uh, send that is to enter our email address, and we're going to confirm the email, and we're going to also enter a unique password that we'll use to retrieve that information when we're over on our smartphone uh, or tablet device. And what that will allow us to do is download uh, that configuration onto the device. It doesn't actually put an application on the tablet or the iPad or the iPhone or Android. But what it does, it just links that data collection tool via the internet to the iTree servers. And once it's uh, uploaded to the iTree servers, that data can then be retrieved and brought down uh, to the iTree desktop version for analysis. So once we've clicked um, Next and then we go to Finish, it's going to automatically send the configuration and then we'll be sending us an email on our smartphone. So now that we've asked iTree to uh, send over the configuration file to our smartphone, whether that be an iPhone, an Android, a tablet, or an iPad, uh, we're going to look for an email on one of those devices and see what uh, has been sent to us and it should we should be finding in our email a uh, hot link here so in this case here I could go to the email that's come in from info and there's a link for your data collection for the project and so what we do is we simply hit that hot link and that will take us over to a configuration file on our iPhone or our smartphone and in this case here, it brings us to the login screen. And in this case here, we're going to go ahead and um, just enter our surveyor's name. And each one of these steps is outlined uh, and follows along specifically with what's in your manual. And there's also uh, information on using the uh, smartphone devices within your owner's manual from the iTree Eco. So uh, please review that before you head out into the field. But in this case here, what I've done is we've sent over some plots. And so what I'm going to do is just pull down to a plot here, and we'll go to uh, plot 3.3. Three. And what happens is we have a series of pull-down menus in this case, which we're going to go through individually as we would go out and do our survey of that particular plot. And so let's just check here. I'll click on the uh, first one and look at our plot information. 
and you'll see that information shows up. It's one tenth of an acre. And in this case here, it shows that I have 33% uh, plantable space. If I wanted to change that, I just hit the uh, pull down menu and I could change that to 53 or I could go ahead and type in a number. So we have that ability right there. Our percent shrub, if we're going back and reviewing this, we can see maybe that it's increased or decreased um, due to uh, any circumstances over time. So reduce that to three. And then our tree cover here has increased to, um, say we can put in here 2018% and we would go ahead and just enter that. And so the idea is that as you go through this, you can uh, go through each of the um, the variables within each plot. So I'm, as you see up top, I'm on plot three. I could simply click our, our, our icon here and then I could go look at reference objects as our next uh, thing that we're looking at. And in this case here, I'm looking at a light pole. It's at 160 uh, degrees, 70.2 feet away from our, um, our location and or our pot center. And in this case here, you could change that and you'll see we have quite a few permanent objects that uh, in this case here, we could possibly change that to a fire hydrant. Um, but whatever you want to do, and then what you're going to be able to do is again, go through each of these um, uh, tools within the um, iTree uh, data collection interface that you see here. And let's just take one more look at trees and, and you'll sort of get an idea of what we have here. Uh, when I click on the trees, it, it'll open up. And in this case here, we have a, a Freeman maple, 22 foot in height. And there's all of the uh, data collection information is available here that you would uh, do on your, your normal paper. So the idea here is with a group of um, pull-down menus, we're able to uh, make our changes, uh, changing it from a street tree to a not street tree, for instance. Um, and you can just simply, with pull-down menus, be able to go through each one of these uh, variables and then uh, choose the one that you wanted and select it. So the idea of utilizing this is, is, is pretty straightforward and pretty simple. And then in this case here, we're just going to save our tree data and I'll go back here to our uh, general uh, screen and that brings us to um, the bottom where we would uh, once we've collected all of our information we can mark the uh, plot as completed and you'll see that that turned green for us so the idea is that um, you click on next here and it'll just bring us back to our main screen um, so the, the idea is that as you go through this process that you're then able to um, take the uh, iTree data that has been recorded on your smartphone or your tablet or your Android or your iPhone. And now it is all synchronized with the uh, iTree.tools servers. And then you're able to go back into your uh, iTree Eco program and again work with utility and go ahead and download the data and that will populate the database that you'll then use for your analysis um, of the iTree Eco information.